Chapter 17, Development of the Human Eye, page number 634, Tabular Meshwork. Part 3. The next major change occurs after the development of the scleral spur between the 22nd and 24th fetal weeks. At this time, the trabecular meshwork can be divided into the outer corneoscleral portion, which is oriented longitudinally, and the inner uvea meshwork, which has a neat like arrangement. The trabecular beams of the deeper corneoscleral region now have a core of collagen fibrils and elastic tissue surrounded by trabecular cells which rest on a tenuous basal lamina, the future cortical zone. The cells are connected to numerous cytoplasmic processes and align themselves along the framework of the extracellular matrix material that they have secreted. The intercellular spaces enlarge and interconnect to become organized as the intertrabecular and intratrabecular spaces. However, the uvea meshwork, especially the posterior layer, still consists of mesenchymal cells that are oriented randomly and patches of collagen fibrils scattered in the extracellular compartment. The uvea portion of the meshwork is organized more loosely than is the deeper scleral meshwork. The final development of the shape and orientation of the individual trabecular beams probably depends on mechanical influences such as the direction of the pull exerted on them. Thus, the corneoscleral and deep uveal trabeculae are oriented circumferentially as flattened perforated sheets, whereas the inner uveal trabeculae have a predominantly meridional position of the long axis with a rounded cord like profile arranged in a nate like fashion so as to form a more resilient system. Between the 28th and 30th fetal week, the corneoscleral beams elongate and the trabecular cells covering each beam are connected by tight junctions and have only slender cytoplasmic processes. The uvear meshwork now has wide intercellular spaces and by the ninth month the uveal trabeculae are well formed. The time at which communication is established between the fetal anterior chamber and the developing intertrabecular spaces is controversial. Classically, this process has been regarded as occurring relatively late in development and as depending on retraction of the corneal endothelium. Recent light and scanning electron microscopic studies of human fetal eyes have shown that although the profile of the cells extending almost to the apex of angle resembles corneal endothelium at 12 to 14 weeks of gestation. The lining is perforated by intercellular gaps of 2 to 8 micrometer in diameter. Furthermore, as development proceeds, these lining cells become distinguishable morphologically from corneal endothelial cells. Gradually, as the angle resist deepens and as the trabecular beams differentiate, the open spaces of the meshwork come into direct communication with the anterior chamber. This development can be correlated with the increase in the facility of aqueous outflow, that is 0.09 microliter per minute per millimeter of mercury before 7 months to 0.3 microliter per minute per millimeter of mercury at 8 months. Thank you.